Good evening, Larson Heights Elementary, and welcome to Bedtime Stories with Mrs. Schatzko. Um, Losha is fast asleep back here in the background. I don't know if you can see him laying there, but there he is right there. He is ready to go to bed, but we are not quite. Tonight, we are going to read um, my friend Emma's favorite book in the whole world, The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywalt. And illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. I want you to know this was a really hard book to find. I finally had to go to the public library and check it out and look at that my library card just fell out of it because Mr. Preston went and picked it up on his lunch break. So the day the crayons quit. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on it. To Duncan. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Red Crayon does work pretty hard. There's a lot of red stuff in the world. Wow. Red Crayon looks pretty tired there. Let's see. Oh my, this one's a good one. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I am your favorite crayon for grapes and dragons and wizard's hats but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I am gonna completely lose it. <sighs> Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Hmm. I don't know, I think Duncan does a pretty good job drawing inside the lines. I mean, I can see Purple Crayon getting a tiny bit upset, but really, uh, Duncan does a pretty good job drawing. Oh my. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither, I am beige, and I am proud. I am also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that Brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies, while the only thing I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky. And wheat, and let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? your beige friend, Beige Crayon. Beige Crayon looks so sad with this piece of wheat. I really love how these letters are written though. They're pretty awesome letters from the crayons. Duncan, gray crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. Seriously, you know how tired I am after handling one of those things. Such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know. So are tiny little rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while and give me a little break? Your very tired friend, 
gray crayon. I can see how gray crayon would be tired. Those are really big animals. Maybe he should choose some rocks or some pebbles or I don't know, little gray mice or something. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you are using me on, white. If I don't have a little black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill in empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, White Crayon. You can't even see White Crayon. Can you see right here? Look at that. <laughs> Poor White Crayon. I love this picture though. White Cat in the Snow by Duncan. Did you see that part? White Cat Snow by Duncan. Hi Duncan! I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in by other crayons. By other colors. All of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, black crayon. I don't know. Black rainbows and black beach balls, they just don't do the same thing as all the different colors. Huh? Although I kind of get where black crayon's coming from, really. <sighs> Dear Duncan, as green crayon, I'm writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work. Loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problem and wish to congratulate you on a very successful coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, yellow crayon and orange crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Whew, your happy friend, green crayon. Green Cran, he's a pretty happy guy. I like him. I think I'd like to hang out with Green Cran. Dear Duncan, <clears throat> Yellow Cran here. I need you to tell Orange Cran that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking and I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, yellow crayon. He did definitely color in the sun with yellow crayon on that one. Although orange crayon, crayon looks a little bit grumpy. <sighs> Dear Duncan, I see that yellow crayon already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday, you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your day at the zoo coloring book. Orange, you glad I'm here? Ha <laughs> ha, your pal 
and the real color of the sun, orange crayon. He did in fact color the sun in the zoo, orange. I know, yellow's looking a little grumpy, huh? I gotta tell you, I can see why my friend Emma loves this book so much. Okay, dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year and the year before and the year before that. I have really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am so short and stubby, I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Blue Crayon does look a little tired. He's pretty wiped out. Look at him, can you see him right there laying down? Duncan, okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once, not even once, in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could all use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. His little sister did do a really nice job of coloring inside the lines for that pink princess. Mm -hmm. Hey Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes, help. Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. <laughs> oh, poor Peach. Well, poor Duncan, he just wanted to color. And of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. Look at all those letters from the crayons. Love them. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. Look at that. He used every single color of his crayons in his picture. I love it. And they're all different things. Like, has anyone ever seen an orange whale? I think an orange whale is pretty cool. And a purple dinosaur flying through the sky. And a Santa with an orange hat. I love all the different ways he colored things. And an A plus for creativity. Have a great evening, Larson Heights Elementary, and thank you, Emma, for re recommending this book. I love it. Soar high with the eagles, Larson Heights. <laughs>